seeing this board's decision making rejecting our most vulnerable populations and making things worse for the kids who need our help the most. Emotions were running high at tonight's Lynchburg School Board meeting with folks venting their frustration with the board's decision last month to turn down a grant for a safe room at AC Glass. Yeah, parents, students and teachers urged the board to reconsider their decision, but they left empty handed. ABC 13's Rachel Branding shows us how it all played out. The boardroom was packed full of people and passion in response to the board's decision last month to turn down a $10,000 grant from the It Gets Better project. Students, teachers, and community members held up signs and addressed the board, asking them to reconsider. The board made a mistake when you rejected this grant, but you have the opportunity to lead by example, show humility, and rectify that mistake. The grant was submitted by the Gender Sexuality Alliance Club to create a safe room for every student in the school. They designed this grant with generosity, wholeheartedness, and care for every other student in that building. And the money got sent back? After their decision last month, the board discussed funding the safe room another way. If you can't fund T.C. Miller, how will you fund our room and all the other rooms for all of the other LCS schools that don't have one? Many speakers explained why the room is important for the students to feel safe within the school, urging the board to do some homework. Please educate yourself on the increased risk of self-harm and suicide in LGBTQ plus populations and youth. Educate yourself. Within the hour of public comment, only one speaker applauded the board's decision. Now I would like to thank the school board that recently uh, passed on the 70 to vote, rejecting the grant from It Gets Better. Multiple members of the board offered to donate money toward the room. They have a legal team working to decide whether that would be a conflict of interest. The board is also working to create guidelines for how they look at grants in the future. Back to you.